Welcome to the shop and welcome to part two of the series of building the Stevens Aero Model Cap 232 Micro. As you can see, we've got a usable airframe here uh, pretty far along. Couple things that need to get tweaked out still. Uh, but for the most part, um, the upcoming clips will show that, you know, the build, putting some of these things together. Pretty uneventful on the build. Some things that have to be increased as far as structure. Um, changed out where the servos are going to go. Made boxes here for the servos. Um, putting the tail servos back here. Uh, because I can. I figured out based on center of gravity, those lighter servos will be have no problem there. This thing's, I'm hoping to come in around seven ounces all in with this. And I think I can get that done. I've got a 450 milliamp 2S battery, which will spin this thing and give more than enough power. You saw an e-calc, kind of what my power was on the uh, part one of the series. So upcoming clips on the build. Hey, if you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. Yeah, it makes me feel good. Helps my ego, I guess. Anyway, I appreciate it. Have a great day. Okay, we are completed with that. As far as with the uh, elevator and horizontal sta stabilize <laughs> stabilizer. And uh, now we need to join these and they have a little tube. All right, so lots of sanding. Lots of sanding all the surfaces, make sure everything's smooth. Um, see some of the work we did on the aileron. So got it set up to where uh, after we cover, we got this all set up, reinforced so we can put the control horns in. Got that set up. So that's all done. Ailerons are pretty much done. Uh, the servo environment or setup is such that this cover is going to go over the top right there with four small screws to hold that down after we cover it and make it look pretty. And the servo is going to get basically attached to that with double stick tape and <laughs> that's going to go in like so actually it's going to flip around like that and that's going to go in there the horn's going to come out and control the ailerons so that's all done and designed so that's working uh, again, it's just all a lot of sanding and making sure all the surfaces are good. Those are done. Um, probably put a pin in here uh, that's going to then go in the fuselage just to make sure that when I mount it, it stays in place.
Okay, so here's where we are, just plugging away slowly. Got the back section on here. Um, this all gets sanded. Oh, sanded around, basically built it up to laminate those blocks. You got the uh, horizontal goes there, vertical goes here, rudder, ele elevator. Still trying to figure out what I'm going to do in here for how I'm going to set up the servos. It has servo rails that are way too wide for the servos I'm putting in. And then start messing around with the, uh, the motor mount. And I might have to design something on the 3D printer and print that out. So we'll see how that all goes. Should be fun, fun project. It's very stiff. I mean, this this weighs nothing. Very, very stiff. Um, outstanding the way it all kind of keys together. Uh, work really well. So uh, more to come. Stay tuned. Everything situated with the motor motor mount, which I a long time ago. This is what we did. We always got a you know a 10 by 10 millimeter uh, piece of wood that slid into these areas, and the motor mount would slide on it. Well. That's so that's what I decided to do here. But there's a carbon fiber tube. And then 3D printed this white piece which will slide in there and that holds a motor and uh, seems to work well. Got a little tuning I have to do, but that's a nice thing about having a 3D printer. You can kind of play around with that. That slides into there. Gonna get this cowl put together. Um, I cut it off the the injected mold part that you uh, saw in the unboxing. Anyway, there's a lot of little kind of basically flashing uh, that needs to get cleaned up before I glue this together. And then clean it up, maybe fill in some stuff, um, sand it if I can. I don't know how well this is going to sand out, but try to get it as clean looking as possible and then uh, paint it, prime it, paint it and uh, we'll see uh, what color scheme I come up with. Should be good. Thanks for watching part two. Look forward to uh, putting together part three and hopefully we get a maiden very soon if the weather cooperates. Have a great day, thanks.